developers behind DC Universe Online are working on a Marvel MMO. Now, earlier this morning, I read it was the developers behind um, City of Heroes, but in this headline, they're saying DC Universe Online. Which one is it? Let's hold up. But a Marvel MMO is coming from DC Universe Online Studios. Oh, it, I read it wrong. City of Heroes lead. City of Heroes. It's the lead dev, I guess. So I guess the lead dev of City of Heroes left and they started working on DC Universe Online. I must have read this incorrectly. Revealed yesterday via investor presentation, Daybreak Games, Austin-based Dimensional Inc. Game Studios, developing a new Marvel MMO. However, according to the same presentation, it will likely be a few years before we see a trailer or a screenshot of the upcoming online superhero game. So since we're years away, chat, let's go ahead and talk about it, you know. Um, what do y'all need from a Marvel MMO to keep you hooked long term? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. Uh, let's try to keep uh, the mission structure a limit to um, let's limit how many how, let's go kill 10 wolves missions we get. OK, I want to do a lot of cool shit, a lot of story driven shit with voice acting in it, especially because what is the Final Fantasy 14 has it in it. Um, what's the name has it in it? Um, what's that shit called uh, from Amazon? I'm tired. What's that shit called from Amazon? I was playing the game. I liked it. Oh, New World, New World. Proximity chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that would be this version, this game's version. Yeah, go stop 10 thugs. We don't want to go stop 10 thugs. Proximity chat. New World has proximity chat. From here on out, any MMO needs fucking proximity chat. That shit is amazing. It's fucking hilarious. But yeah, we don't want to stop 10 thugs. This game needs to have amazing character customization in it, like City of Heroes. If you've never played City of Heroes or City of Villains, you missed out on a golden era of MMOs. That shit was fucking amazing. I mean, DC Universe Online had pretty good, it had pretty good customization, but still to this day, I don't think there's been an MMO in terms of like the superhero genre that beat the City of Heroes. I played that game for a little bit and you could literally make anything. Granted, everybody was just making Marvel heroes, but you know. Um, as spotted by Eurogamer and Twitch streamer Miller, Daybreak's parent company, an ad global seven releases q3 2021 financial report in that presentation which is available online the company quietly announced that daybreak and dimensional inc were working on a triple a mmo utilizing the marvel ip according to another slide in the presentation the unannounced marvel mmo is being led by jack emmert he is currently in charge of dc universe online but before that he helped design and run city of heroes and co-founded the studio behind that mmo cryptic studio so okay so he's worked on both I wouldn't expect to be playing this Marvel game anytime soon. In the presentation, it's listed under longer term project after 2022. So it's likely uh, that this game won't be finished and released until 2023, 2024. Also, keep in mind, this game can get scrapped. Games can get scrapped. So like this is this is a leak. This is not this wasn't something that's supposed to be known to the public. This could be something that totally falls apart. Also, it could end up being a mobile game as well. It might not even necessarily be PC, although it says AAA. So that probably means PC um give good black hairstyles i agree with that i'm gonna join hydra this guy I, ju I just think it would look really stupid if all the missions were like go beat up go kill 10 wolves like imagine being captain america and just throwing your shield at a bunch of wolves and then skinning them you know it just sounds stupid but th they need to have really good story driven content maybe get some spotlight to lesser known marvel characters too like it'd be dope if like you create a character where they specialize in throwing hands because I'm pretty sure that's how they're going to classify the different characters. You're going to be able to probably make like a magician type, one that's good with, you know, weaponry, one that's good with hand to hand. And then let's say like you pick a character that specializes in throwing hands, then give us like the option to go on, be under the tutelage of like multiple different characters, right? So like it would be fire if you created a character that specializes in throwing hands. And then at a certain point in the story, you have to pick whether or not you want, I don't know, spider-man to be your teacher or black widow or shang chi or um what's, what's that kung lao nigga bro uh iron fist like it'd be fire if you could if you could do something like that or or even captain america because i guess he would be hand to hand and then for projectiles i guess you could do like iron man i don't know star lord whoever else captain Captain Social Justice Warrior. Um, <laughs> we need a Sinister Six raid. Yo, that would be fire. That'd be fire. I think this is also a great way to explore the greater Marvel universe and explore storylines that were for characters that people are not as familiar with to get people familiar with because then it's going to help grow the MCU in the long run too. Protector of the Kung Lao, these nuts. Uh, I, I guess, I guess. Um... Uh, also, give us the option to play the villain, bro. Let us let us let us choose whether or not we want to be a hero or a villain. 
freaking if 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 you could pick the Joker as a teacher, what the fuck would he be? His specialty throwing hands. No, nah, he would. He would. If you pick, if you pick the joke, oh, I said the Joker. That's hot on tie. That's DC. I'm, I'm about. To, I'm cutting the stream off. That's the stream for the day, guys. I'm out. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. I've, I've embarrassed myself. Like, <laughs> just gonna go ahead and get myself a 600 here. It's been a long. It's been a long week. I'm fucking tired. Everybody, shut up. I think for this game to be prevalent, period, it needs heavy story driven content, bro. I want an MMO with great story-driven content. And if anybody can do it, it's the Marvel IP. I would like to see them do something where, like, it's not strictly class, like one class. Like, I would like to do them, see them do it kind of like Mass Effect Andromeda or, like, 2K or something where, like, you can pick, like, a primary and then, like, two secondaries or one secondary. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I can have the option to throw hands, but then I can also have the option to fly like Iron Man or something like that. I don't want to have to pick one character or one special ability, you feel me? So I definitely would like character customization, not just from an aesthetic standpoint, but from a power standpoint. I understand there has to be balancing, but like there also needs to be fun, okay? Okay? I don't want to be running on the ground while everybody's flying to the objective, stealing all the fucking loot and shit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They're saying 2023, 2024, keep an eye out for that. Um, honestly, if we blink our eyes, this game probably will be out tomorrow because COVID is not going anywhere and we're always indoors.